polygon across flats. Polygon can be drawn across flats and across corners. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw a hexagon when you're giving its distance across flats. In this example, the distance across flats is equal to the diameter and it's 60 mm. So the first step is to draw your circle using the required diameter. So when you're drawing, you're using radius 30 mm to draw the circle. Step two, draw a vertical and horizontal center lines on the given circle. Draw a vertical and horizontal line on the given circle. Step three, step three, you need to position your set square this way. Bring out your set square, position it this way to touch the circumference of the circle at a point. So you are making a tangent at that point when you are drawing your hexagon across flat, you are making a tangent to the circle with your 60 degree set square. So now when you look at this, this set square, this is the 60 degree part and the 30 degree part. Ensure that the 60 degree part is the part that is touching the horizontal center line and is also touching the circle at a point in order to make a tangent. So bring out your pencil and draw the tangential line. So the next step is to, let me take it back. Is to reposition your set square this way. Okay, just turn the set square, take it downward, take it downward to quadrant three. Move it in order to make 60 degrees and 30 degrees. So this is my 60 degree to the horizontal center line. Then I can now draw the line. So bring out your pencil, draw the second line at quadrant three. This is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Quadrants one, two, three, and four. So now, in order to draw tangents at quadrant four, just turn your set square this way. Let it face the left hand side. Let it face the left hand side and it's making 60 degree to the horizontal center line. At the same time, searching the circumference of the circle at a point, then you draw a line. The last part, which is quadrant two, just twist it downwards. The same way we did for quadrant three and adjust, move it until it touches at a point. So to touch the circumference of the circle at a point, then you draw your line. Now we have completed the tangents at quadrants one, two, three, and four. So the last part, just move your T-square, move your T-square from this position, take it to the top, draw a line, take it to the bottom, and also draw another line. Okay, these are also tangential line because they are touching the circle at a point. The last part is to outline the hexagon. Outline the hexagon using a line.
So this is how to draw a hexagon when you're giving the distance across flats.